I just love people, period, whether they're people I interview or not, but that people really have such a contribution to each other. I guess it happened when I was in college. I was a science major, and I got to direct some review in a competition, and I realized I was very happy. I'm not interested in what everybody already knows about them. I'm interested to bring people what they don't know about them. In the fifth grade, I wrote a play, a World War I play. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell movies to my friends, mm -hmm. even movies they had seen. In fact, we'd come from the movie theater and sit down on a stairway in an apartment building, and I'd tell them the story over again. I can thank General Hospital for having a dream come true as far as horses go, because as a, as a kid, I lived, breathed, slept, ate horses. I like landing the people. I like uh, the research, exploring everything. I like the phone conversations before they come on. I like the surprise that some people get when I just call them up and say, I'd really like to interview. I've heard what you do. My f father uh, died at age uh, 87, so he actually lived to see me uh, become uh, both uh, congressman and uh, mayor. When you begin to read about the people or you see them somewhere else and you hear them speak, there's so much more to them and I like to bring some of the more that's them to the story so that people really see. I, I used to act out stories with my dog. Oh yeah? My beagle. And uh, this is one of the silliest ones. I've only told one, one other person this. Okay. We used to put on my mother's high heels you and the beagle? Well, the beagle wouldn't wear the high okay. heels, but I would use them as cowboy boots. So them, the person that somebody doesn't know as much, or the famous person, if you look at the contributions they've made in their environments, they're just probably the same, if not equal. And that sort of began the acting, and it was all, I never took any of it seriously. I come from my heart, and I come from the depths of my life. And I come from, I think, where I was born. I come from my family. My parents always were about their neighborhood, their friends, entertaining, being engaged with other people. So naturally, I guess that's what comes. It's the engagement of myself with other people. Thank you so much for letting me be here today with you, Mr. Hampton. Well, I want to thank you for coming. And uh, such a wonderful person as you, and uh, I'm getting a very big kick out of this. The kind of television I like to do would encourage people to come away with an energy to go after something. I had no intention of ever being a puppeteer. I want to be a journalist, and I went to school for about a year, and then Jim asked me to come join him here in New York for about six months part-time. I tried to continue my studies at CCNY mm -hmm. for about a, a semester, but it, it was just too much fun, and I've just been with them ever since, with a company ever since. I majored in something called semiotics, and in a way, you know, that, that course of study um, has a lot to do with what I do now, which is like making, you know, making articles of culture that kind of get out there into society. I've been basically a lyric writer, Mm -hmm. But I have been able to collaborate with a lot of good people, and I've met a lot of great people in music, and I love that uh, uh, part of my life. It's a little bit different from baseball, but mm -hmm. it's fun. Good television to me is television that informs, entertains, inspires, and educates.